Elgato have released a new beta version to the Camera Hub software. Version 1.11 now supports voice sync for all your scripts. And this is a great addition to Camera Hub as voice script now automatically scrolls your script as you speak. No manual control required. So let me show you how we get on with it. To download the beta software, just follow the link in the description below. But a word of caution with any beta software, there may be some bugs and issues that you may come across. There are two versions as well that have been released, one for Mac users and one for Windows. And the Windows version does have more features at the moment, with the Mac version at the time of this video. We'll be catching up with those features very soon. So download the software, get it installed, and let me show you what the new features are. So let's take a look at where these new features are once you've downloaded and installed the software. If you go over to the Camera Hub software, you'll see that we've got this scrolling option here in our menu. If we open that up, you'll see that we've got two modes now, constant and voice sync. Constant is the original mode whereby you would control this manually, either with your Elgato Stream Deck or the various functions that you have with the original Camera Hub software. But if you go over to Voice Sync, which is this new option, you've got a couple of different settings that you can set up your Voice Sync. First off is which microphone are you going to use to activate the Voice Sync? Remember, this software is going to scroll based on you speaking out your text. So you need to select the right microphone. In my case, I'm using Ecamm, so I'm using the Ecamm virtual mic, but any mic that's connected to your system will be listed here. So make sure you select the right one. We've got the auto loop function, which means that the script, once it's got to the end, will scroll all the way back to the beginning. And if you want to do multiple takes, that's a great way, I guess, if you've got a short script that you want to keep running through. The reading position will come to in a second when we go onto the other screen, which means where is the text going to be in relation to the prompt itself. And then you can actually highlight the text which shows you what you've already read and what text is coming next. So let's go to our next screen and then I'll be able to show you a little bit more about that. So on the left hand side, you'll see that we've got the camera hub software here. And on the right hand side is actually what you are seeing or what I'm seeing in the prompter. You're seeing a representative view as well. So this is live in terms of whatever I am speaking in the prompter, you will be able to see. So this reading position, if we change it here, you'll see the text on the prompter is going to move into a particular position. So this means where do you want the text positioned on the prompter to start reading? Now, I typically like it sort of towards the bottom. So I'm not looking up, I'm looking sort of directly at the center of the lens. And then we can turn highlight text on and off. That will only become apparent when I start talking. And once you've enabled these features, all you need to do is simply have your script. Now I've got here the Steve Jobs script from when he was at the university. And I'm just going to hit the play button here. You can obviously zoom the text in as well, but that's just really for the script itself. It doesn't affect what's on the prompter. Hit play and I'll start talking. I'm honored to be with you today for your commencement from one of the finest universities in the world. I never graduated from college. Truth be told, this is the closest I've ever gotten to a college graduation. Today, I want to tell you three stories from my life. That's it. No big deal. Just three stories. I'm just going to pause there so you can see that all the text that was read is now uh, basically in the grey and text that has to be read yet is still highlighted in white. So it's a really simple, easy to use and for the most part, reliable way of actually running your scripts. For me, it's not had any issues since I've been using this. So that's really it for the voice sync. It's very simple. It's a great implementation, really no frills whatsoever. You just enable what you need to do in terms of setting your microphone, pop in your script and speak away. 
An additional feature that has been added to this beta version of the software is global hotkeys. Now these are available for play slash pause, next and previous chapters. And if you don't have a stream deck, then these are a great addition for just basically using the prompter with a keyboard. Currently, these features are only supported on Windows operating systems, but will be available for Mac OS in the coming releases. I've left links in the description of this video to both the Elgato's beta software site and the Reddit thread that explains these features in detail. I'd encourage you to keep checking back to these sites because there will be updates before the beta version is finally released. And if you are having any issues connectivity wise with your Elgato prompter, specifically if you are a Mac user, then I've created this video up here and also linked in the description below, just in case you have any problems that has helped a few people out over the last few months. And if you are having any issues, then I encourage you to check it out just to see if it will help you also. For me, this has been a welcomed addition to the Elgato software. I've been using PromptSmart Pro for a while for this type of voice sync for your scripts. And whilst it's perfectly fine, it was a bit of a faff to get it running on the prompter itself. And to have something built in natively is just great. It's only going to get better. This is beta version, remember, and current language support is English, French, Spanish and German with obviously more languages to follow. Let me know in the comments below if you are testing it out, if you like it, and I will see you in the next video.